Hey guys, Jim and Pokemon here, bringing you guys a PSA Returns. My default camera app cut out on me like halfway through recording this. I'm only through the first box. And so rather than bore you guys with the intro of me opening the box and the box is out, I figured we'd just go in and jump right in. Um, this is my gray stamp PSA Return, and these are the 10s we've already pulled. Uh, dude, I, I was going through these one at a time. There's so many dugongs. I think I submitted like 12 dugongs. I was going through these, camera app froze, took me like half an hour to figure it out. Download a new camera app, so we're gonna see how it goes. But one thing I did want to point out is this far fetch. Uh, this gray seems actually pretty gray. Uh, on camera, it doesn't look as gray as quite maybe the others, uh, but in person, it's it's very very gray. And this is the only card that I do uh, have of this. So of all the gray stamps out there, there are only three that I'm worried about. One of them is a war turtle, a far fetch, and a Growlithe. Of everything else, I think I can get at some point. But to see this, that was huge. And so, sorry we kind of missed the whole intro there, but we're getting right to the cards, which is what you guys want. Okay, so again, I don't know the grades of these. I haven't even looked at this stack here. We're going to go through these one at a time. So this Growlithe got a PSA 9. And you can see here that it's off-center from left to right. And so the left side is much smaller than the right side. And that's why I got the 9. And so I think I have one more Growlithe, and I think this one might be a, uh, probably going to be a 9. So, and this, I think this is a grouse. We'll see. Dude, PSA 10. Nice. But I think, yeah, yeah, this is it. That doesn't look like a gray stamp to me. I mean, if you zoom in, I haven't even zoomed in on this app before. You can see it's kind of like 3D right there. But, I mean, I wouldn't quite consider that to be a gray stamp. So, unfortunately, I'm probably going to try to find a, uh, one that's a little bit better on that. So we'll put that in the 10 stack. So at least we got a PSA 10 Growlithe. I mean, that was a pretty expensive card there for a bit. I know, I think I sold one for maybe like 600 bucks at one point, and then um, it kind of fell. A lot of these uncommons are kind of falling a little bit, but I think they'll correct after a while, though. So next card up. Nice, nice, Ivysaur. And again, that's that light black. That's the light black there for you. Sweet. Dude, that's a nice nice, nice little grade. Pair that with the Bulbasaur. Uh, this is probably going to be a 9. Ooh, 8. And again, I think it's due to that front centering. So if you see the front centering is, uh, like, you see the growl here? Like, that's a little bit better on the growl. That's why I think got the 9. But this is just so far off on that front centering that, I mean, the card looks overall pretty good. And what's weird is the back centering is, like, I guess it's kind of the opposite of the front. I mean, you have a little nick on the left over here. But that front centering, man, I mean, that's just, yeah, <sighs> You know, so, uh, again, I'm pretty sure that's why I got the 8. Mostly due to the centering issues. So next up, nice, 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 dude, dude, that's a good grade, that's awesome, you can see the gray stamp there, I mean that's visibly gray, looks great, nice, nice PSA 10, so very, very excited about that, I think we have one more, and these are all in order too, kind of going reverse within the box itself, but again, I think we have seven boxes all together, and I'll, I'll maybe show you something else too, nine, so only one arc of nine, still, Happy to happy to get it. Yeah, just point this out. I think something PSA changed. We were talking about this in the first time I tried to do this. On the first box, they have my name now. They have a 20 showing. There's 20 cards in the box. It's a 134 card order. And it looks like this is like a month out from where, I guess it got done on the uh, January 15th. And then today's, I think today's Sunday. I don't know NFL's playing. And so I think that's just like a month out from what it was. And if you look at all these, you can see two of seven, three, seven, four, seven, all the way across, and they have, you know, 20, 20. This last one's 14. Some little art I bought in New York, some street art. Fair to use that as a background. Awesome. So we're going to hop in box two. I'm pretty sure these will be on commons again, just going in order there. But the commons will probably be a little boring, and then the trainers will be kind of tough because. I think trainers are just hard to see in general with the cards being pretty gray. I think they blend in and just tough to see overall. Ooh, this is a nine, maybe an eight. Probably an eight due to centering. Yeah, dude, look at that centering. I mean, it's a fantastic looking card there, but I mean, no edge wear. The corners look pretty good, just a little factory nick up here. But centering, I mean, an eight. So you can see on very specific things, you can see PSA is cracking down a little bit more. Uh, even though it's a fantastic looking car. Next up. Nice, nice, nice. Kadabra, PSA 10. 
And dude, I know I'm gonna have extras of these I'm gonna end up selling, but like if you look at this, it does not look like a gray stamp. I mean, on camera, like I don't know if it's enhancing the black here, but it it, it is gray stamp in real life when I'm looking at it. But when I look on the phone here, it does not look like a gray stamp like at all. So I gotta figure out how to take pictures to show it's gray. Nice PSA 10, and that is that's very gray. Just compare this color to like the stiffen color. I mean, that's that's. That, that's a gray stamp for sure. Making progress in these wild sets that probably no one else collects. PSA 9, Kakuna. Uh-oh, this might be like Dugong where we have 50 of them. Kakuna 9. Only one 10 so far. Whoops. Next up, Kakuna 9. Jeez. Let's see what's going on here. Another 9? What is going on here? I mean, these look pretty good. I mean, overall quality in the back is fantastic. I mean, centering on the front is good too. Actually, I'm gonna. Talk, I know you guys don't like this, but turn the light over it just to kind of see here, dude. Dude, any scratches or anything? I mean, these are pack fresh. The guy I bought them from, open base set booster packs. So I mean, these are straight from the pack. And I don't know, man. I mean, the centering. I mean, I can see the card art is like a little shifted up, but it's like maybe ten percent up. I mean, it's not a lot. I still think this is. I mean, to me, this looks like a 10. It looks like a 10 to me, but honestly, I'd rather PSA do this to my t cards, take the 10s down to 9s, than give out um, PSA 10s to obvious 9 cards. And so I'd rather this continue to happen the way it is than have some overgraded cards, which I think has frustrated the community quite a bit lately. So it's another topic if you can kind of catch my tone. All right, another 9, Kakuna. Next up, let's go, baby. Nice, nice, nice. PSA 10. That's fantastic. And so this does not look like a gray stamp. So, hey, you know, it is what it is. Next up, it's going to be another Magmar. Oh, this is not a 10. Look how ugly that is. Look at that. Look at that. That's an 8, probably. Or a 9. <laughs> I mean, pretty good centering, I'd say. I mean, not perfect centering, but pretty good. That, that is a gray stamp for sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, it. I think, I mean, the corners, yeah, I mean, if, if I was grading this with BGS, I'd probably say like an 8 on the corners, an 8 on the edge wear, but, you know, maybe a 9-5 on centering, and there's probably no surface scratch or anything, but yeah, that at the bottom, I probably would have given this card an 8 in my opinion, but, hey, got a 9, next up, let's keep going, nice, PSA 10, again, that's very well centered card, looks pretty good, Really no edge wear. Corners look great. I mean, this this does look PSA 10 worthy to me, so I agree. And I think when you go through your cards, just having an objective mindset. I mean, PSA is subjective when they go through it, um, and so it's to their own opinion. But you know, if you leave this from an objective way that you can really say, you know, I agree, I disagree, you know, this is what it is, you don't necessarily have to – I mean, PSA is pretty good at what they do, but, I mean, they're human. They're not perfect. Nice. PSA 10. There you go. It's pretty good to me. Next up. Ooh, Nidorino. And this is a gray stamp. This does look slightly gray. Probably trying to find a, a, a lighter copy if I can. I don't know if I, like, I'm so confused because, dude, like, I had, like, five minutes of content just railing out gray stamp information and then the video cuts out and you're like, what do you do? Like, <laughs> I forgot what happened. Um, but no, I think this is a card that, like, yeah, there's two tens right there and this is, this gray stamp, you know, it's not bad, but I've had some that are just so faint. I think those are so cool for, like, the set that I think I'm going to go as gray as I can. Just try to get as light as I can on, the, on that coloration there. All right, next up. Did Arena, another 10. Jeez, dude, it just seems like some cards just grade easier than others. Or they're, at least they're more consistent. Maybe they just hold their quality a little bit better. Another PSA 10 on the Nid Arena. Next up, PSA 10. I mean, you just tell right away that card looked really good. Next up. Oh, that's a nine. That's a nine. Ooh, don't agree with that. Yeah, so again, centering is good. I, I think it's 10 worthy centering. Not perfect, but I think it's still 10 worthy. Do the top up here. Again, I'm seeing a lot of cards with this kind of wear at the top, right in the middle. Without saying what my opinion is, I'll let you guys sort of talk that one out. You can see some little nicks at the bottom here. So, PC 10 is a parameter, but uh, 
I think this card's outside of that parameter. I would have given this card a PSA 9. I almost put it in the 9 stack. Next up, PSA 10. Again, I'm happy, but, you know, I, I think there's a difference between a strong PSA 10 and, and a, an okay PSA 10. And uh, I think when you see some high-value cards at the market and they don't sell for what they should sell for, and a lot of it's because the PSA 10 doesn't look as strong as others, I think that's making a statement on certain cards. So let's see. Next up. Nice, nice, nice. This is a pretty great stamp, I would say. And, dude, it's so hard to show you guys on camera because I don't know if it's just enhancing the image or what, but, I mean, this this is very gray. And if you look compared to that, I mean, it is, you know, it is much, much different. So I'm very happy with the poker flip getting a 10. And maybe I uh, push these back up here. And maybe I organize these cards in a way that uh, I did, like, all commons. I didn't do, like, just Pokedex order or the set order, whatever it goes through here. So... Let's see if we want to take these out. Turn these upside down. So we got five boxes left, so nice. PSA 10. This stack is going to get huge. PSA 9. PSA 10. And dude, it just blows my mind because like that in person is gray. But on camera, it does not look that gray at all. That is, that is so peculiar. I gotta figure out something with the lighting, maybe change it up a little bit so you guys can see the color. I mean, these things enhance color, they make everything look great, but they don't do it justice. So yeah, this is a nine, you can see the centering. And, and that centering is actually pretty far off that, you know, when you see the eights that we had earlier, like this, I mean, those are pretty close, you know, and, and let's assume that this card is pretty much perfect in every way. Okay, and the new app said max video size reach, so, um, I'm going to keep on going. This is the Porygon. And it's pretty off right to left. And I think the back looks really, really good. And so you can see here. Good looking card for a 9. Next up. Another 9. Jeez. I remember going through the, the log and seeing how many of each of these I sent in. Ooh, that's an 8. Now look at this. Do you see all that stuff on it? Like, like uh, stains and stuff? Yeah, that don't look too good. Ugh, that's kind of nasty. But, hey, it is what it is. I was kind of thinking, like, all right, what are the chances these get a 10? Because, you know, when you send these cards off, you kind of think they all get 10s just from... I mean, you're not going to send in, like, a non hollow card expected to get a 5. Because I mean, that would have, like, no value. Now, if it's a Charizard, you know, that's a different, that's a different story. So, man, of all these poor guns, not one ten so far. Redicate. There we go. Nice PSA 10 right there, baby. Next up, next up, PSA 9. Man, so I might have to start looking for a Porygon there. Looks like we totally missed it on that one. Nice, nice, nice. Dude, nice. And you guys can tell that is extremely light. That that, that quality is, that's there. This is this is a collection piece right here. That's, that's a good looking card. All right, next up, let's see here. Nice, another 10, a little bit darker stamp there, you can tell. And if we keep on moving on, hmm, I'm going to guess PSA this is a 10, but we'll see what they say. Yep. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's a non holo card, so what can you say? Four more boxes left. Jeez, I'm going to have to start flying through these. Another PSA 10. Next up, PSA 9 on the seal. And this might be one I already have. i got to... I actually got to see what I do have, what I don't have. Oh, nice. PSA 10, but you see how dark that is. So, again, just another card to go towards a bulk. You know, eventually probably sell this at some point. But, again, looking for that really, really light gray stamp, if we can find it. Next up. Nice, nice, nice. Very light gray stamp. PSA 10 collection quality card right there. So, I really, whoever's watching this, I really appreciate it. I mean, you know, I'm going after this really obscure set that probably... Most of you guys could care less about. But at the same time, I think just hearing my opinions as we go through things probably help you just sit other parts of your collection. So, big nick up there. I'm thinking in nine tops, maybe an eight. Ooh, man. Consistency. Consistency. Not an A on consistency. Let's just look there. Mm-hmm. Man. 
Come on, guys. You gotta do better than this, so. I'm a little disappointed with PSA, even though that financially is a positive for me. Um, just disappointed. Next step, Pokemon Center PSA 10, nice. And that is a it is gray. I guess I give that a gray. I think I already have this one. I got I got to take another look. But I've actually got a few more turns to knock out here, so. I gotta go see if I have enough time to knock them all out. But I thought this gray stamp would be just a nice one up front just to kind of get things going. I figured this would be a good submission, good returns, and, and this would just be, you know, top notch. Nice, nice, nice. I'm very happy about that. You can see that how light that is. That's awesome. And this 10 stack's getting pretty big. I know it's hard to see. Another nine. And these are a little mixed up, so we're going back to seal. Hmm. Ooh, nice, 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 baby, nice. We're going to make a new stack for that boy. Nice, happy about that. <laughs> nice, 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 another one. That's sick, that is sick. All right, next up, oh, that's a 10. That's a 10 for sure. I mean, no no question about it, that looked good. So good, you know, pack fresh, first edition base. The only thing that sucks about the PSA case is you can't smell the card. You really just can't. Just right when you open that pack, right when you smell it, just just in your face. I mean, you can sit there and not even look at the cards. You can just take a big whiff and you're just in heaven. Kind of like when you were a kid at the gas pump, the first time you smoked gasoline. Yeah. It's kind of what a Pokemon pack does to <laughs> does to me. It's just that euphoria, man. That, that takes you to another place. Nice, nice, nice. And dude, what I've noticed is these lighter cards, like... There, it's harder to see the, the gray on it. I mean, it just really is. And something really peculiar, um, whenever I was looking at a few online, if you look at it, it looks like there's like a little white circle around the gray. So if I'm moving around a little bit, maybe you guys can see that white circle follow. And I thought these were like fake or something's going on with it. But what's odd is almost every first edition base card will have, at least in this coloration, will have that little bit of a lighter circle kind of around where the stamp is. And it always threw me off because I was trying to figure that I was trying to figure that out. It's like someone put a little light over it, or like the sun, you know, made the made the stamp gray. Like I was so confused. And if you look at cars that are produced normally that have the dark stamps, they have the exact same little light circle around it. And on the last, uh, I think it's called fairy uh, gray stamp, dude, that is so gray. That is so gray. I was trying to buy. I uh, almost passed on it because I thought it might have been fake, just because the dude's so gray. I mean, you can barely see that in person, but when you get on the camera, it's like amplified. But I almost passed on the Clefairy because I thought it was a fake, and then ended up just kind of comparing it to regular, like a first edition base, and ended up looking pretty good. And uh, went with it, and ended up being the only crazy stamp Clefairy I found, so pretty happy I pulled the trigger on it, even though it cost me a pretty penny, but sometimes you gotta pay up to get the unique stuff the cool stuff so these are pretty good another PSA 10 Let's see if we can get through this right here PSA 10 coughing nice and let's keep on going here nice 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 I would not consider that to be kind of a great thing it looks pretty dark to me in my opinion and then we have two left here nice 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 very happy about that that looks be pretty good. And last but not least, I agree. I agree. Looks like a nine. It got a nine. I agree. Thank you, PSA. All right, so we have three boxes left, and I'm going to go in and pause the camera, and uh, we'll do the next three.